is up YouTube it's the elite 953 universe coming at you with another GTA 5 video now for all right now behind me is a 20 is a 2012 barracks b10 now now this is commonly known as the barracks truck that is that is at the military base and it's used by some players in the heist the, the I think it's called the Pacific Standard Heist I guess I don't know I have I've been online forever now before I say something the reason I haven't been online in so long is because well reason number one internet the AT&T double build us they promised that our internet and TV was going to be on one bill, meaning, and they, and they and decided to become assholes and double bill us. Now, anyway, so as a result, in April of last year, we our internet got pulled. Fan fucking fantastic. Okay, now, now I'm calling this a B, the B8, the B, the, the B, the B10. Okay, B for barracks and 10 for weighing 10 tons. Now, um, as you can see, now this, I'm calling it that for role play reasons, because, you know. Okay, so, I, I looked it up, and, okay, I looked up why this thing doesn't have a license plate in the back. Being, like, right here, around here, it should have a license plate. But I looked it up, and someone said on, on a website that the, 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 the identification number is on the door and the hood. Which means it's this number right here which is basically it's VIN and license plate number kinda cool huh now anyway now um now this is the now this thing is made is manufactured by HVY which is make, the maker of the insurgent Chernenbog um um that one dump truck hold on wait wait hold on um so anyway the interior now this thing is like really tall it's like I think it's like it's, I think it's like 12 I think it's around I think it's around 12 feet tall, and it weighs 10 tons. I looked it up, and I looked it up on on GTABase.com, which I'm going to link in the description. And it, it weighs 9,000 kilograms, which which equals 9,900 pounds. So this thing weighs almost 12, no, no wait, 20,000 pounds. That's 10 tons. And and since it's the barracks, I, I call it the B10, which is barracks, 10 tons. Okay. Now, now the one gripe I have with okay, the one gripe I, ha I have with the game is that look at the mirror. The mirror is almost non-usable. Now, hopefully, in one of the updates, Rockstar will hopefully make these mirrors usable. Now, um, the acceleration is decent. In my opinion, it's 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 surprisingly fast. As there's like a dubstep two over there. Now, I'm one of those weird people who who drives these things. Over sports cars. Reason why is that it doesn't. It's 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 extremely it's extremely durable. Now, yesterday I was driving down this one road near Sandy Shores. This Jeep cuts in front of me. I hit it. It flies over the guardrail, and it lands in a ditch. I'm thinking I better call the ambulance. Now, anyway, now the sound. It's the same as uh, the garbage truck, a lot of the um, dump trucks, and the gar the um, uh, the a, lot, a few of the semi trucks and all that. So for role play, for role play reasons, I'm gonna call the engine a Garfield P100. Now the P100 is uh, is is a six stroke, while the that is used in a lot of the MTL vehicles in this game, and uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. I was gonna do a review on the brute bus from GTA 4, but the the, the frame rate on that is like kind of wacky. Now anyway, now the, the acceleration of this thing is kind of decent. Now the color, now, now, now the reason it's red is is actually a, a cool story. I bought, I purchased it in story mode, which I'm in right now, um, for around 400k, forever 400k. Now. When I went to the to my, to my to my the airport to spawn it, it was red. I was thinking, why is it red? So I googled it and look on Wikipedia, and it's actually a very rare variant of the regular barracks. And what's what's even funnier is that the barracks 
ha is the, the 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 red is happens to be my favorite color. Okay, behind all right, red. All right, red is my number one favorite color. Blue is my second favorite color. Purple is my third favorite color. Now, now in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the air brakes. Now, just to note, the air brakes won't want to work. Now, if you hold the the um, um, RB, which is R1 in um, in PlayStation, and for a while. Now, um, now the now okay. So as, as I'm as I'm waiting for the stoplight, I'm gonna say the interior of this thing is kind of spacious. It's the, the, the this this the C pillar right here is making the the, the 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 one mirror a little difficult to see. All right. Anyway. All right. So anyway, so the gauge cluster is kind of nice. I mean, I, it's kind of cool that the, the, that this thing it has like a digital dash compared to the. So some of the analog dashes a lot of the diesel vehicles have. All right, watch this. Oh, it didn't work this time. But um, there's a one there's one trick that I use to get it to work. All right, I drive backwards and pre and press the emergency brake. So um, now anyway, so the design. Oops, sorry. I think I think HVY is actually based off of international. Um, the reason MTL is based off of I think Freightliner, and Joe Bill is always obviously Peterbilt. Now, um, now I think HVY, HVY as on Wikipedia, the GTA Wikipedia, they say that it's based off of either this this one brand called Oshkosh, which I haven't heard of, and, and Caterpillar. Now, if you guys don't know what Caterpillar is, it's um, it's it's, it's a manufacturer of a lot of like of like, no pun intended, a ton of bulldozers. Now, yeah, so um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna do a performance test as soon as I get to the freaking um um canal, which I'm hopefully gonna get to in a few minutes. Um, so anyway, the, re the re reason I'm driving like a grandma is because it's, it's so I can save off of um, so I can save. On um, as 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 I said, to save a lot on vehicle on vehicle repair costs, which is actually helping a lot. Now, <laughs> now let me tell you this: like I now have like um 16, I have 13 mil right now, and I used to have 26 mil. That means I spent 13 million on. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> On, oh yeah, okay. So I spent 13 million on uh, on um, vehicles and repair costs and clothes and businesses. Well, I I I now only seven or eight businesses right now in the game, mainly to make an income so I can actually m m make money. I think I, I I actually got made back the the the, the, the amount of money I spent on this, which was like 400 something k. Oh yay! Yay, the e-brake worked. Oh, well, that sucked. Well, I'll be back in a few minutes with um, the footage from the speed test, all right? I'll be back. All right, now I, all right, I'm at the, uh, I'm at the um, canal now to do, to do a performance test. I'm, a, I'm only gonna go, like, go from, from, like, here to, like, the end, because at the end, there's, um, well, like if you guys don't know, at the end, the end over there, like over there, like at the, where the little bridge is, um, there's like a, like where a gang hangout, and the other end there's um another another gang hangout, and I'm pretty sure it's street racers. Um. Anyway. So anyway. Uh. Now. Um. Now. For for the first few minutes, I'm going to show you how to use the air brake. Now let's see if it actually works. Okay, it actually works. Okay, now if you accelerate like, like so, and decelerate, and when you're the end, press press the e-brake, and then when you release it, you should hear this. Now, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna turn it up so you, so you can hear it a little better. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. I, I, I turned it up by ten points. All right. Now, in real life, I think they do, do this. I think they rev a little bit to get the uh, air pump going. 
and then they released the e-brake, which is around here. I, I mean, I, I, I used to be in a, I used to go to school, I graduated now at least two years ago, which is hard to believe. I graduated two years from two years from high school, but um, I used to I used to ride the bus, and I, and I observed from the power of observation, there was a the the the, 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 the there was a, a diamond shaped yellow button on the on the on the dash that they pull, and it, and it makes this noise. It's not working now, but hold on. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to use the e-brake. I, I mean I mean how to get it working. Now first you go backwards real fast and then you press the e-brake and this should get it to work I figured out how to I figured out how the e-brake works on GTA 4 because my game was stuck in update limbo for the longest time because we don't have internet and I had to go to my dad's work to um, get to get it to update so anyway I learned how to do this on GTA 4 in the Battle of the Gay Tony when we when I had to play something else because a, lo a lot of my games were stuck in sorry a lot of my game, a lot of my games are still stuck in update limbo, except for this one. Now, yeah. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna show you, show you the performance test. It's not very fast, but it's kind of fast. All right. One, two, three, go. Now, now, now what's confusing is that when it's idling, it's idling at around 700 RPM. But in real diesels are idle around 200 or 500. Hmm, see look, it's already at 60. Well, it's, in, in diesel terms, that's actually pretty fast. Now, now I'm almost at 70. Now I'm gonna turn around. Now, it's, 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 it's handling is actually, is actually surprisingly decent. I mean, I'm able to do, do U-turns occasionally, but the U-turns are, 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 are sometimes aren't that successful as I hit a pole or another car. Or maybe, or, 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 or maybe I curb the sidewalk. Now look, I mean, one time using Franklin's ability, I was able to get this thing to 105 miles an hour. That's actually quite impressive. Now earlier, the last clip, I meant, when, I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I said six stroke, I meant to say six cylinder, or straight six, that's what I meant to say. So it's a turboed straight six. Now here you're gonna see what I mean by gang violence. See, look. See, look. Oh, dang, you can't see it because of my mirror, but look. Over here, you can see a lot of gang hangouts here. And uh, during the day, they're, they're not here. But when they are here, it's usually between uh, dawn, dusk and I think, I think around 3 in the morning. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to go through here again and show you. Now, another thing that's impressive about this truck is, it, is its suspension. Oh my gosh, the suspension is impressive. It, it's actually high enough to go off-road. Although I tried to take this thing on, on Mount Chiliad and it didn't have enough torque to go up that the, 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 the one hill. So, now the, the one thing that's impressive about the physics is, is look how smooth that, that tarp flaps in the wind. I know, I know that sounds stupid, but but um, that's actually, it's important that like Physics like physics like this work in the game correctly, okay? Because if it doesn't, it'll be flapping everywhere. Now I'm going at um, let's see, 71. Now I'm gonna show you the other end where the gang violence is. I, I'm calling it gang violence because that's why I that's the only thing I know how to call it. If if you guys don't know, I have autism, so. And are they here? No, they aren't. That's a, that's interesting. All right, now here. Huh, I, I guess they fixed it. So, um, yeah, so... This thing is actually quite fast. I, I've actually gotten away in a police chase in this thing before. Yeah, and, uh, well, yeah, if you guys don't know, uh, besides the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The, the Dup, the 6x6, the wheel, all four wheels in the back of this thing turn. I discovered it when I, when I got stuck during a police chase. I was like, ooh, that's actually pretty impressive. Now, um, yeah. Now, um, if, you, if you guys, in case you guys forgot how to use the, how I taught you how to use the air brakes, that you stop, and when you're almost done accelerating, you press, you hold the e brake, then release. But if it doesn't work the first time, go backwards, 
real fast and slam on the slam on the e-brake and that should get it to work look see so yeah all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video and as usual comment like subscribe see you later bye